want to find out man i'm doing great but um you know i've been i guess in a way disturbed by just so many um i guess this is just there's been a lot of sad news coming from home yeah and me not being in zambia like there's a lot of people that i care and 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 love you know people extended family some friends friends like b like you know uh my boy b mac is a rapper yeah he Most, just lost his wife. wife yeah you know that's like something that i like i understand we're growing up but it's just i cannot fathom his pain you know what i mean mm -hmm. like um yeah i just i don't know what to say like i've spoken to him and i just said you know like we're yeah man just sending prayers out to everybody in zambia and just asking everybody you know to stay safe um don't take things for granted yeah i guess yeah and i don't want to sort of like down the vibe and kill the good vibe or whatever but it's just something i've been thinking about yeah. when i think about back home and i just want to let people know that you know i am keeping everybody in my prayers you know regardless of who you are you don't have to be related to me for me to keep you in my prayers mm -hmm. just yeah. know that I've, i'm keeping you in my prayers and um I guess the same, man. It's just what's going on. It's like it's just crazy. Yeah, true that, true that. I agree. But let's talk about how are you doing? Where you are? How is it moving so far? Hello. Let's try to reconnect back. Uh, we're trying to reconnect right now. So I, I was trying to find out. Uh, uh, we, we kind of lost you a bit uh so i want to find out how are you doing where you are and how are things moving for you no you know it's, it's actually been pretty good i think that each one of us we sort of get to a point in life where things sometimes you know like you try certain things and the doors are closed and then you try one more time and then doors are closed or you try another time and things don't work out and you just never give up and you keep trying and like my message is consistency and persistence mm -hmm. because what's happened is a lot of opportunities have been coming my way a lot of doors have been opening so that's a blessing because like it doesn't always happen and mm -hmm. um, you need to be able to recognize opportunities so i've been able to recognize the great opportunities that have been coming my way and it's a blessing to be able to be in that position. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as like Australia goes, like there's parts of Australia that right now they're on lockdown. You mm -hmm. know, um, thank God I'm in a I'm in a place where where I am right now is Perth, and it's Western Australia. Mm -hmm. The government over here, like Perth, is governed by by different. Uh, different uh, constitutions because it's got different states mm -hmm. so like the state that i'm in is governed by different you know they're very similar but there's just a few tweaks and changes here and there so like because of that the place where i am in western australia in perth the restrictions are very very tight like even travel um you know People just can't travel anyhow and when people travel here they have to be in quarantine and certain certain people from certain states can't just come into Western Australia mm -hmm. because that's how the government's trying to contain um, you know the spread of COVID so it's it's been one of those things where uh, right now life is sort of I guess I would say it's kind of back to normal mm -hmm. I guess you know we don't have to wear masks when we go to the shops uh, clubs are open but the one thing is me personally i just don't go out a lot mm -hmm. and also given the state of the world i just don't do too much unnecessary moving and unnecessary going out that's kind of like you know uh my lifestyle right now mm -hmm. um i'm just trying to see uh, trying to handle a lot of meetings and a lot of things online instead of go having to meet people in person it's just because of the state of the world mm -hmm. uh, yeah but 
I guess, you know, uh, it's an amazing time when it comes to my music because I've just released a new album. Yeah. It's called Rhythm and Poetry, mm-hmm. uh, abbreviated R.A.P. Rap. And mm. um, what I like about that part of work is it actually represents rhythm and poetry. It's beats mixed with poetry and, you know, the rhythms and that creates the joy, at least it gives people the escapism. So there we are. That's kind of like where we are. Yeah. So let's talk about your new song uh, that you've just been mentioning right now, uh, which premiered on uh, the 15th of uh, June 2021. Energy is the title, and I should make mention, I was just checking out the video. I've been I've, I've been watching the video from your YouTube channel. Aish, <laughs> the yeah. quality, it's just on point. Thank you. And, uh, Thank you. Let, let's, let's talk about that. How long did it take you? Because we all know that in this situation that we're in right now, shooting a video, making things work, it's not easy. And uh, also just putting everything together. Let's talk about this one. Like some of the things, the process, how was it? Yeah, um, good question. Um, the thing, though, the, the crazy thing is um, the album was supposed to come out in December, mm-hmm. but I just kind of felt like something was missing. It just kept feeling like something was missing. And so everybody that was asking me, ah, when's the album coming out? I was just like, nah, chill, you know, because when you do this for a long enough time, you start to kind of get... It's almost like an animal instinct in relation to your music and your gut just tells you like okay now it's ready now we're ready to go but by december i wasn't even really done with the album Mm -hmm. and the fact that i don't write my lyrics anymore a long time ago i used to write Mm -hmm. but then the last few years i think since 2000 and since 2008 I stop writing my songs. I just get on the mic and I record and it, it kind of makes my creativity a little bit better. Mm-hmm. So I never really worry about where, what direction the music's going to take because I just believe that it will just come out in accordance with whatever information I hold at that time, mm-hmm. whatever's coming at me. And that's why when you listen to my lyrics, I can go from driving in the street and then suddenly I'm talking about a friend back home then suddenly i'm talking about a different situation is because my my brain is very spontaneous thinking but um coming back to the single yeah i just didn't feel like so i went back into the studio and uh one day i was going through twitter mm-hmm. and uh, um my boy musa the creator he's actually zambian yeah he used to call himself beat boy oh yeah uh, um he he was like he posted a video of himself in a studio mm-hmm. and I was like, what is that joint? Then he's like, ah, oh, I just figured out this sound. It's a new sound that I'm trying to, you know, mess with. And I was like, dude, send me that because Musa and I, uh, Musa and I have had a relationship since my, uh, my previous album, which was the quiet dawn. Mm-hmm. Musa, cre- Musa produced a song called tougher than in leather. Uh, like he sent me the beat sounding a certain way, but then I chopped up the beats, rearranged it and made it, you know, to my preference. And he really liked that. And I just liked, I felt like I was working with a producer from Zambia that actually knew me personally. And he said he was just a fan. So, but fast forward to 2021, Mm -hmm. he's, he's on Twitter, he's posted a video and I was like, what is that sound? And I just felt like I found something. This is a gem. And he was like, God, don't say no more on me. Because him and I, we have that chemistry and that relationship. It's kind of like a big brother, young brother type relationship. Mm -hmm. He's like a a diamond chain affiliate too, basically. Mm -hmm. And he was like, nah, say no more. Um, He sent it to me. The track was arranged very, very different from what it became. Mm -hmm. Because I had to cut out some parts change some things and then um i sent it to because i wanted like an <clears throat> i didn't want to do the chorus yeah and by the way choruses are one of my strengths when you listen to the fire inside i came up with the chorus one day jk and i came up with the chorus mm-hmm. electric boogie i came up with the chorus so like choruses out uh mostly one of the first things that i come up with and it's one of my strengths mm-hmm. so like um this time around like i always just follow my gut instinct like i don't just 
say, ah, no, I'm going to finish this song. Like, I follow what my heart's telling me. Mm-hmm. And what my heart is telling me is, you need to feature somebody, somebody that's slightly younger than you, somebody that's got a smaller voice, just to give the, the song different energy, different tonality. Mm-hmm. And then you need to have like an African chorus, but don't do it yourself. That's what I was feeling. And I stood by it and I felt it strongly. Mm-hmm. So I sent the song over to Your Maps. Mm-hmm. Uh, was it Your Maps? Uh, no, no, not Your Maps. I sent it to Jay Cash. Yeah. Uh, I was like, could you try to put a chorus on this? Then he sent me something. But I, you know, like, I think that he did a pretty good job, but it sounded more like a verse as opposed to a chorus. Yeah. And I was just like, ah, nah. And then by the when I sent it to him, it took a really, really long time to come back. Like, I think it took one month and a half before I heard back from him and I kept reaching out. And I hate to be like, um, but, but then, then, he's my nigga. But then, know, then, that, then that gets to you mostly. Looking at you have been in the industry for a long time. Imagine sending something to someone, then it takes time. Does that get to you sometimes when you feel like, okay, I can just do this on my own? You know what? Sometimes I am the worst, mm. so I can't. I can't actually judge him because you can ask people that I've done songs with. Mm-hmm. There are times you can send me a song and I'll jump on it immediately, but that just goes with you know. Am I in the mood? Do I? Am I feeling the track? Like is the is the time right? Sometimes the time is just not right. Mm-hmm. But anyway, I eventually sent it to him. Uh, I didn't hear back like for a month and a half or whatever. And then when I got it back, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. And by the way, at this time, the album was like 98% ready. And this was one of the key songs that I wanted to finish before setting a release date. So my album release kind of was leaning on 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 whether this song was complete or not. Mm-hmm. And then I sent, it, I sent it to somebody else who hollered at me on Twitter it was like, ah, oh, big homie, I know what to do. Just send me the beat. So I sent him the beat. I got back something. It wasn't because I'm a creative director. Mm-hmm. So I don't just say, ah, oh, jump on my song. I actually play a major part. Ask anybody that's that's uh, that's that's recorded with me. Uh, a lot of songs that you have heard me on, believe it or not. I may have had a hand in like the arrangement, how the song eventually turns out, mm-hmm. sometimes even the mixing and mastering. But anyway, I sent it to a Zambian dude who was in South Africa. He sent it back to me. It just wasn't sounding right. And then my son, um, who's right now in Malawi, yeah. uh, he's going to be coming to Australia, but he's in Malawi. He was like, Dad, Dad I know exactly who's going to be right for this song. I'm a mm. good friend, uh, QZ. He's going to kill this song, Dad. Trust me. And I trust my son because to me, he's like, you know, Swagger 2.0. You know when the when the software gets updated? Yeah, yeah. And it has new features, <laughs> more advanced features. No, I understand that. I understand <laughs> that. Very few, very few people can say that about this. Yeah, you true, know? true, true. No, I understand. You I know understand. What I mean? So, like, I respect his talent. Like, I actually really, really appreciate. Yeah. You know, and I don't want to go off a tangent, but really quickly, I need to touch on this point. Yeah. When I look at the relationship between myself and my children, Mm -hmm. it makes me wonder how the F does a father just forget about his child and not care about a child. Get to know your children. Mm -hmm. They'll bring you so much joy in your life. It'll Mm -hmm. probably add life to your own life. It'll probably improve your health and your mental. You, You appreciate life more. When you come to know your own children and spend time with them. But yeah, it's neither here nor there. But I just needed to touch on that. Mm -hmm. And my son actually saved that song in a way. Because he's like like an artist's repertoire. He's he's blessed with my ability as well. Like he can hear something and he's like, no. But then he runs it past me and then daddy takes it to the next level. You know what I Mm -hmm. mean? I tell him like, no. If you do this, it'll actually sound much better. And he trusts my judgment and is like, Dad, you're a beast. You're amazing. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of relationship that we have. He gave it to QZ. Mm -hmm. And guess what? 
QZ sent it back to me in like 48 hours. Wow. I got I got I got the demo and the demo that I got was sent to me on a WhatsApp recording. They just put the phone to a speaker mm -hmm. and I was just like, Yes, that's it. Send me the stems. He sent me the stems. Ah, uh, just hold on, my dog is like going crazy. Just hold on. Okay. All right, so we're still having a chat with uh, Chisenga right now, all the way from uh, Australia, man, doing amazing work right now. And uh, we're talking about his current oh, oh, oh. new song on uh, the Jeff Lange. The current song is Stop. Energy. Stop it. And uh, we're just trying to find out a few things right now. So just in case you've been following Zambia music for a while now, you must be familiar and you must Hello. be known, uh, know what he's been doing right there. Yeah, so we are still right now uh, together. So I want to find out, like, a quick one. What should we expect? Like, what are you working on? I know this song is new. Is there anything that you want your people right here in Zambia to do for you? No. So, I mean, I just want to say I don't want to take away QZ's credit. QZ sent me the stems. Mm -hmm. It had crazy vocals. I mixed and mastered the song. Um, and I put my, you know, I... I put my rap on it uh and then uh i got someone else a zambian dude to put a rap on it he did put a rap on it mm -hmm. uh but when it was time to do the video he started making excuses and not showing up for the shoot mm -hmm. so imagine in 48 hours i had to pick a new rapper to put on the song because i didn't want to do the song on my own i wanted somebody to i wanted to give somebody some shine you know like God blesses you with something. It's not always about you. Sometimes you also got to lift other people up. True. So it was just put upon me, like, to put Kuda Mike. I gave one Zambian guy, I don't want to say his name, he lives in Perth, mm -hmm. an opportunity. We started working, he had recorded his verse, but when it was time to shoot the video, mm -hmm. he started making excuses and not showing up. And I had to make an executive decision and just cut him off the project. And I told him, dude, you're off this project. I don't have time for that. I cut him off. And then I got Kuda Mike. Kuda recorded the, the, the verse, the last verse on the song, 24 hours before the video shoot. We shot the video on a Sunday, March 28th, 5 a.m. when we started the shoot. And by 9, 9.30 p.m. we had finished. There were night shots that we didn't use. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to share that on social media. Mm -hmm. But uh, in as far as like what we should be... And Kuda, by the way, is from Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. QZ is from uh, Malawi. And then obviously I'm a dual citizen. So I'm Zambian, Australian now. So yeah, it was a mix. Um, in as far as what you, what, what you should expect... Mm -hmm. Well, you know, the, uh, the part of the reason why I created the album is that it creates content for me to create from. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the songs, there's there's some songs that people are loving. So I'm going to use those songs to sort of propel my career further. And there's songs that I'm going to be performing, uh, songs that still need videos shot for. Um, and all I'm asking right now is for people to really just support this project I don't know anybody else that's been doing it as long as I have in the industry and, and you know, where you can still come with something mm -hmm. that, that you know, that bangs and goes hard. Um, it just goes with my understanding of the industry and, you know, it's all the fans and people that have kept the faith in me mm -hmm. that have also kept me going because there are times when, you know, no matter who you are, we all have our down times. Yeah. And I felt at times... I felt down, but when I felt down, those were the times when I decided, okay, right now I don't feel like recording. So what I'm just going to be doing is I'm just going to be studying the game. Mm -hmm. So when people ask, where have you been? I've actually been spending a lot of my time just studying because mm -hmm. it's an art that I do. And that art has to be studied. Like you go, people go to school to become lawyers. I study the art and just learn more and more and more and more, you know, uh, yeah. learn from people that did it before me, learn from different genres of music, because I don't just listen to hip hop. I listen to rock. My favorite, one of my favorite albums is Dark Side of the Moon by by, by a, a band called Pink Floyd. Mm -hmm. It's from 1973, I think, or 77. Mm -hmm. um, you know, things like that. Like I study other genres of music um yeah that's okay. and i so, just really really um i request that people request for it on radio yeah um and djs if you don't have it please reach out to me 
in fact i'm thinking you know i've got an idea that i've got for the album i want to do something for the zambian people mm -hmm. uh, um i was think i came up with that idea today Mm -hmm. I'm going to be announcing what it is, what it is that I've decided I'm going to do with let, let's, let's break the news uh, right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> we have the legends right now. Let's break it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need some breaking news from uh, Chisenga. Tell us the news. <laughs> What's the well, breaking news? First of all, I appreciate you calling me Chisenga because mm. I've been uh, watching, um, you know, Chandambao's Zambian hip hop history. Yeah. And everybody keeps calling me Crisis. Do you know how much I hate that name? Okay. I actually don't like that name anymore. Yeah. And I just, I always just wish that somebody would be smart enough to get on the show and say, oh yeah, uh, and th those days we had Crisis, who now calls himself Chisenga. That's you what know, we say. That, 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 that's what yeah. I would do. That's what we basically say right here. That's what from... I would do if... Yeah. if pe Sorry? That's what we say. Like, we have it, to remind people saying there was crisis, now we have Chisenga. The same way that Saga now calls himself Tim. Exactly. Like, ah, those days, you know, uh, you know, when, when Tim got in the industry, and this is another thing that a lot of people don't, you know, there's a lot of rappers in Z that don't talk about my contribution to their careers. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to say, because you mentioned Thugger. Thugger used to be part of Diamond Ch Diamond Chain. Mm -hmm. So the first show that Thugger did, I actually put him on the stage, mm -hmm. and he used to dance. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was Thugger a dancer. Is an amazing dancer. <laughs> we way. don't know about that. Thugger we is an amazing dancer. <laughs> we, we don't Tim. know about that. Okay. No, 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 no. Tim is an amazing dancer, but I don't know. Okay. He's a good dancer. He's a good dancer. Yeah. So like the first time he got, you know, I put him on because like he really wanted a break in the industry. And I was just like, man, this kid kind of reminds me of T.I. Because those days he was a big T.I. fan. Mm -hmm. So he used to sound like T.I. Mm hmm. But I was going to say, like, yeah, and I that's how I put him down with Diamond Chain. And we started working together. Mm -hmm. um, but those are stories that a lot of people don't know. There's artists that are well known in Zambia that used to open my shows. The artists that used to open my shows themselves don't really talk about it. Because mm -hmm. they don't want it to look like, no, crisis, now Chisenga helped them. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like when you're it's like when you're a leader but other people want to erase your history. Yeah. And they don't want to they don't want their fans to know that you 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 contributed to their growth. Mm -hmm. They want to make it look like they did it by themselves. But I just want to make it clear, man. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like did Chisenga ever contribute to your career, to your growth? Did he ever do something for you? Yeah. You know, like I've, I've met people that have appreciated me for a long time. And those are people I'm still cool with. Mm -hmm. I might mention their names in my song or whatever, whatever. I respect that. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Because mm -hmm. I know that they've not forgot, forgotten what, what I did for them. And I'm, I'm one of those people. I don't like to talk about what I did for somebody. Mm -hmm. It's just not my style. But when I see so many people erasing the part I played in their career, I find that a little bit disrespectful, but I don't address it. I just sit back and watch the show. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, away from that, I was taking out a YouTube channel right now. Uh, I love what people have been saying about your song and the feedback. Uh, someone by the name of Peter wrote something on your YouTube channel saying, I think you need to feature more of our Z rappers, Chisenga. Zambia misses you so much. And I see you didn't respond to that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm getting this opportunity just to get find out from you uh, because these, these are the people that follow you and these are the people that comment on your YouTube channel right there. Are we expecting that? Yeah, you know, uh, no, 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 no. That's, that's a good call. That's a good call. Peep this, fam. Like, um, so, in as far as, like, featuring Zambian rappers, and this is the thing that most people don't know in the background, is 
I've reached out to some Zambian rappers. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, when Chef came to, to Australia, I said to him, bro, you're in the country. You know what people would love to see? Mm -hmm. And we're not doing this because I need you or you need me. No, 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 no. We're going to do this just for the fans. I think the fans would be hyped just to know that you came to Australia. You and I got into the studio and we recorded a song. Let's do it for the fans. Mm -hmm. ah, no, nala you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He wanted to charge me to do a feature. I'm not talking shit about him. Mm -hmm. Excuse my French. This is like real talk. You get where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. But he's the young fam. I, I don't have a problem with that. Like that's, you know, you got to handle your biz. Got to get your paper. But you know, PMC, I'm going to tell you now, fam. Yeah. And God is hearing me. That day, I actually kept money with him. But no, I didn't record to him. Just to say thank you. Mm -hmm. No, we're doing this for Zambia. That was the most important thing to me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't talking about money. No, I wasn't even thinking about paying anybody. But in my heart, and God is hearing me, I had kept money in my pocket. And I said, you know what? This is not a lot of money, but at least I'm going to give this to him. And it was more than the money that he wanted me to pay him. You mm -hmm. see how God works? Yeah. But that, that opportunity was lost. So when people come to me and say, ah, no, why don't you record with Sampa the Great? Of course, I'm not a big fan of her music, but I will do it for the fans. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. I'm a creative director, so I can create something that the fans will vibe to it's one thing to collaborate okay so let me tell you something pmc mm -hmm. yeah when you when you notice my collaborations with Z rappers a lot of them they 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 blow up you know why no any one of my collaborators will tell you i play a big big major part in the direction of how the song oh, should yeah. sound how they should sound how their deliveries should be so much better. I play a major, major part in all that mm -hmm. to make a record successful. Mm -hmm. So when I work with people, it's it's usually guaranteed that, okay, at least Fiala Banga sends, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah, I mean, the crazy thing is I've reached out to people and sometimes people just don't come through. Okay. All right. So in your remix, before you know it, we have, we, have, we, have, we have had this chat for about 28 minutes now. In your remix, I know we should do another interview just to get find out more in details right there. There's so much that we want to get to talk about. But in your remix right now, in a minute, anything that you want to say to your people who are locked in right now on Joy FM? Um, I just want to say, number one when you listen to my album you find that it's got a lot of zambian talent energy was produced by a zambian producer even though i arranged it but mm -hmm. there's a lot of zambian talent the youngest producer on my album uh who produced moves he's 17 years old naris beats wow. he's from zambia mm -hmm. um so when you support my music and that's why I went with the name Chisenga because, like, it identifies with. I know it identifies with the Congo as well, but I'm also, you know, I'm from Kazembe's kingdom, mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm Zambian. It doesn't get more Zambian than that. And all I'm asking for is, you know, I need, I need your love and support. I've, the album's got 25 tracks, and if that's not a show of my dedication. To the art and to the fans then i don't know what it is you know because i recorded a track an album that's like 88 minutes long mm -hmm. and that's because i didn't want the fans to feel like he's been away for a while he's been on a hiatus and this is what he's giving us i wanted to give the fans all that i could give them and um yeah mm -hmm. there's we're only getting started that's yeah. all i can say and make sure you request the song on radio Make sure you request for the song on MTV. Make sure you request for the song on Channel O. Mm -hmm. Like, if anybody's going to take this to the next level, you know who it is. Yeah. You know that I can do that. Yeah. So let's do it. Yeah, all right. It was great having a chat with you right here on Joy FM about your premier song, Energy. 
Have an amazing one. And uh, yeah, God stay bless. safe as Thank well. You. Yeah. So that's uh, Chisenga right there from what he called Crisis. And this is a new song playing right now on Joy FM. Energy with uh, Kuda Mike and QZ. Old school bands and I'm swerving. Shorty 